welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 one-hit kill enemies in video games. For this list, we'll be looking at adversaries in video games that can kill the player instantly with one swift move. Are we missing an enemy that downed you in one hit? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Slender Man. Slender. The Eight Pages. The words, you can run but you can't hide, have never been more true than in this popular survival horror game. As you wander about in the pitch black woods searching for eight pages scattered throughout, you'll have to do all you can to watch out for the suit and tie wearing monster that is the Slender Man. Not only does this silent killer make us quiver in fear due to our limited sight and his random appearances, but as you gradually collect the pages, he'll only pop up more and more until he finally gets his hands on you. Number 19. Kalo Nord. Star Wars. Knights of the Old Republic. Go away. This is not your typical bounty hunter scum. He may not be as well known as the more slick looking Boba Fett, but Nord is regarded as being the deadliest of his time. This is mostly due to how he studied the techniques from his pursuers when he had a price put on his own head as a child. With that in mind, you may not want to get too buddy-buddy with this guy when you first meet him. In fact, it's better to just not talk to him at all. Though your eventual fight with him later may not end as quickly as it can here, he still makes his point clear. Don't make him get to three. Oh. Number 18. Berserker. Gears of War. These hulking beasts might not share the same mental capacity as their more organized locust brethren, but that certainly doesn't get in the way when it comes to killing off cogs. Shown as being brutal beasts that are near indestructible and can very easily tear the limbs off any man, they also rely heavily on smell and sound due to their blindness. Their only noted weakness has been exposure to extreme levels of heat, or a little help from a satellite-powered weapon that is the Hammer of Dawn. With such an intimidating monster to contend with, you'd best start running now. Number 17. Lurker. Resident Evil Zero. Ugh. While the Resident Evil games have scared the proverbial pants off of gamers with their extensive collection of undead beasts, we're often reminded of how terrifying nature can be when you simply let things grow a little too big. While giant spiders and snakes are bad enough, it's the lurkers from Resident Evil Zero that can prove to be the most shocking. Although they may not look as deadly compared to some of the series' more grotesque monsters, their appetite for humans is still very much there. Getting caught by their tongues means you'll be quickly feasted upon. That is, of course, if you don't get to that trigger fast enough. Number 16. Giants. The Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Within the open lands of Skyrim, most creatures can usually be split into two groups, those that you see as another wanderer exploring the world and those that see you as lunch. However, when it comes to the roaming giants of this cold land, you're sadly just a nuisance in their eyes. While many won't attack you outright when you catch their attention, they will, however, get really mad if you get within a few feet of them, or if you try to disturb any of their mammoths. Our best advice? Maybe bring a parachute.
Number 15, The Witch on Expert Left for Dead series. Stop freaking out the damn witch! While having to deal with the hordes of the undead in this four-player zombie shooter, make extra sure to listen out for the faint cries of a woman. No, it's not a lost survivor. It's one of the undead's deadliest. Sitting on the floor, waiting for its prey to approach, this fierce woman will burst into a rage-fueled frenzy when approached, or if you accidentally shine your flashlight on her. While trying to take her out is hard enough, it's when playing on expert mode that she will tear into you within seconds. Number 14. Mimic. Dark Souls 3. They say that curiosity can be a dangerous thing, and that is pretty evident here. A mainstay from the series' beginning, the Mimic camouflages itself as a simple chest and waits for the moment a loot-craving adventurer gets a little too greedy for themselves. Sprouting arms and biting down hard, Dark Souls 3's iteration gives players no escape if they're caught in its grasp. If you happen to survive or pick up on its disguise, you are welcome to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, or simply use an undead hunter charm so as to knock it out and walk away with the good stuff. Number 13. Banshee. Mass Effect 3. What were once peaceful members of the Asari race have now been synthetically mutated so as to act as another form of infantry to the humongous alien invaders known as the Reapers. As the name would imply, their main attack comes from their downright painful screech. One that, if done at close range, can stagger you along with depleting all of your shields. On top of that, it's bad enough that they can teleport right up close to you, but if they grab you, it can lead to you ending up in their razor-sharp hands. Number 12. Everything. Hotline Miami Series. This bloody pixel-styled game is not one to go easy on you. You play as a random man who is forced to perform hits on multiple hideouts, each containing rooms filled with armed criminals, all while wearing various animal masks. What makes much of this game a challenge for the player is just how easy it is to die, when all it takes is just one hit for you to be the one lying bleeding on the carpet. By using both the environment and timing to your advantage, you might be able to keep that fragile head of yours safe. At least, until the next mission. Number 11. Xenomorph. Alien Isolation. Do you run or do you hide? Both options seem pretty bad in this deadly game of cat and mouse between the daughter of Ellen Ripley, Amanda, and the terrifying Xenomorph. Displaying all the animalistic traits of its film counterpart, the Xenomorph will stalk you everywhere and find you just about anywhere. Whether it be under a table, up in the vents, or just trying to remain breathless in a locker, it can probably find you there. While you can find and craft various equipment to help you in avoiding this creature's jaws, such as the motion scanner and a short burst flamethrower, in the end, it will do very little to best this ultimate predator. Number 10. Shredder. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In this classic beat-em-up game, the evil Shredder naturally serves as the game's final boss and he comes with a few nasty tricks up his sleeve. Constant movement is key to survival in this fight, as Shredder has the ability to clone himself, giving him more opportunity to land some deadly hits. 
The real Shell Shocker, though, is a wave of electrical energy that de-evolves the player into a good old-fashioned turtle. Be sure to steer clear, otherwise you're turtle soup. Number 9. Bad Girl. No More Heroes. Don't judge a book by its cover. Underneath the cute Lolita-style outfit, this femme fatale is actually quite the proficient killing machine. Sporting a baseball bat and bad attitude, this viciously violent vixen pulls no punches in a fight. Keeping a good distance is crucial for an encounter with her, as her fighting style is completely erratic as she frantically swings away in an attempt to land a hit. Also, a piece of advice, don't be fooled when she pulls her crying act, as it is a disaster waiting to happen. Maybe you forgot, I'm a bad girl. <laughs> Number 8. Pyramid Head, Silent Hill 2. <laughs> As if this town wasn't creepy enough, recognized as the visual manifestation of protagonist James Sunderland's desire to be punished for his sins, this intimidating foe will turn up when you least expect him. An absolute horror to confront, once Pyramid Head has its sights set on you, be sure to stay away, unless you want to be on the receiving end of his gigantic blade. Seemingly impervious to your weapons, the best you can do in most situations is slow him down as you plan your escape. Number 7. Tonberry Final Fantasy Series There are countless enemies in the Final Fantasy series which prove tough competition, such as Unalesca from Final Fantasy X. However, we ultimately went with the terror called Tornberry instead. A recurring enemy in the series, these enemies vary in size and will slowly creep through the darkness with their trusty lanterns in tow. Don't jump to conclusions based on Tonberry's innocent-looking appearance. Their knife attack can spell out instant death, and furthermore, they have a counterattack which damages the player based on how many enemies they have defeated. That's gonna leave a mark. Number 6. Sinistar. Sinistar. Beware, coward. Run, coward. Behold the Stuff of Nightmares. A spacecraft with a demonic skull face, this galactic baddie will appear without warning, meaning that there is no way to ever truly prepare for an attack from it. Once Sinistar shows up, he begins making a bevy of threats towards the player, heightening the tension of the game. I am Sinistar. Beware, I live. After intimidating you for a while, Sinistar begins to zero in on you, and since it doesn't have any conventional weapons to attack you with, it settles for consuming you whole instead. Number 5. Boss Bass – Super Mario Bros. 3 This enemy is the closest thing to the movie Jaws that the Super Mario Bros. franchise has ever seen. Basically a larger version of a standard cheap cheap enemy, this increase in size definitely spells out an equation for double the trouble. Boss Bass swims on the surface of the water, waiting for the player to make a mistimed jump so it can move in for the kill. Don't rely on those power-ups to help you either, as they don't stop Boss Bass from chowing down on you. Best to keep your head above water and keep moving. Number 4. Clickers – The Last of Us 
The apocalypse sure is a scary place with these guys roaming around. These grotesque creatures were once human beings, but have unfortunately succumbed to a deadly virus which plagues the world. The mushroom-like disease has deformed them so much that they are completely blind, having to use a bone-chilling clicking sound for echolocation, earning them their namesake. To your left. Popping up nearly everywhere in the game, stealth is encouraged as opposed to combat unless you plan out an attack well in advance. Because once they grab you, well, it ain't too pretty. <laughs> Number 3. T-Rex Tomb Raider It's the king of the dinosaurs. Do we really need to explain how this could go wrong? Well, just in case all those sharp teeth can't spell it out for you, this huge enemy makes you realize why Jurassic Park would be a terrible idea. An incredibly lethal adversary, a fight with this dino is no slouch, as its speed and large mouth make for a terrifying combo. Since direct confrontation with a T-Rex is next to insane, video game or not, it's recommended to shoot from a distance, unless you want to become this big guy's afternoon snack. Number 2. Everything. Contra series. We hope you have that Konami code handy. As the title of this entry suggests, literally everything in the Contra series can insta-kill the player. What makes this all the more stressful is that there is a constant barrage of projectiles flying across the screen. Bullets, lasers, missiles, soldiers, oh my! Careful attention is required if anyone hopes to survive until the end, as the slightest miscalculated movement can mean one less life to work with. With such a high level of danger and challenge constantly present in the game, the player must develop an inside-out understanding of its rules to make it out alive. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dr. Salvador, Resident Evil 4 <laughs> Taking the top spot on our list, this chainsaw-wielding hostile is truly a force to be reckoned with. Sporting a burlap sack on his head and savagely shouting as he gets closer, this enemy is the furthest thing from a warm welcome to the village found in the opening sequence at the beginning of the game. Appearing super early in the game, the player has to take on this crazed villager with little supplies or experience, bringing tensions to an all-time high. Wildly swinging his weapon through the air, Dr. Salvador will endlessly chase the player with a goal to make them a little bit shorter. <laughs> In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.